Aloha kakahiaka. Team Rose has returned to the University Rover Challenge with its fourth iteration of an emulated Mars rover, improving upon shortcomings observed during the team's performance in June 2024. Our mechanical, software, and hardware systems have been overhauled to improve performance for the 2025 URC Finals. The rover's arm was designed to assist astronauts in the field by locating, picking up, and delivering various objects for completion of the delivery mission. The arm itself has a downwards reach of 70 centimeters, combined with a 55 centimeter horizontal sliding base. For tasks such as opening toolboxes and carrying objects, the arm's four-bar linkage design with its 110 centimeter horizontal reach allows for convenient transport. The claw, with a maximum grab span of 10 centimeters, is designed to carry items with a graspable diameter of 7.5 centimeters or less. Four cameras will visually locate objects, while an arm-focused camera will guide the operator in directing the arm. In the equipment servicing missions, the arm is capable of reaching objects up to 150 centimeters above the ground, enabling it to access and perform tasks on the lander. With 5 degrees of freedom, the arm utilizes a bevel-driven gear design at its base. This allows the arm to generate the necessary torque of 13 Nm to lift over 5 kg, even at its furthest reach. For tasks requiring lateral movement, a stepper motor drives the sliding base via a threaded lead screw, ensuring smooth, controlled motion. Additionally, the arm features a minimally actuated wrist design, which is paired with a 2 degree of freedom and a fetter claw. This claw, equipped with grip tape, is driven by a double lead screw gear design. Our autonomous navigation system is being upgraded from a single ZF9R GPS to two ZF9R GPS modules, implementing a real-time kinematic setup to go from a 1.5 meter accuracy down to a 10 centimeter accuracy. This greatly improves our position estimation, allowing our rover to navigate to each waypoint successfully and more consistently. To localize our rover, we are using extended calm lens filters to perform sensor fusion. Our rover is equipped with a Z2 stereo camera which collects point cloud data for relative localization and obstacle detection by updating the cost map. The NAV2 Pathfinders from the Ross2 ecosystem will then use the computed cost map to avoid untraversable obstacles. For object detection, we are using the YOLO algorithm trained to detect an orange rubber mallet and plastic water bottle. Our payload system is designed to collect subsurface samples by moving vertically and utilizing an auger for soil extraction. A temperature and moisture sensor mounted on the side of the payload system will gather environmental data. The auger will transport the extracted soil to our carousel system, which houses two life detection methods. Our life detection methods will be using two stain-based chemical assays. We will be using a Cresol Red and SES solution for nucleic acids and a Kamasi stain for amino acids. Our payload will feature test tubes filled with chemical solutions for our auger to deposit soil into. Visual changes in the sample will indicate potential life, with color intensity reflecting biomolecule concentration to distinguish extinct or extant life. The chassis has been redesigned to better accommodate the modular components which interface with the rover for the various missions. The top is now flat to allow the robotic arm to compactly fold into itself and have a larger range of motion. The payload module has a dedicated position beneath the arm slider base to securely interface for the science mission. Dynamic camera feed and soil data for the delivery and science missions as well as a window for operators to send waypoints with the rover's current status for the autonomous navigation mission. To communicate with the ground station, we have upgraded to a MIMO 900 MHz and 2.4 GHz. We also implemented enterprise routers to custom routing that provides redundancy play to the strengths of each frequency. This year, we decided to downsize the battery while maintaining the same power output. The battery is almost half the size at 8 4 p compared to the 8 8 p but uses new lithium-ion cells that have a higher capacity. The power system is mainly controlled by a robust power distribution board, and for power intensive components we protect the rover by using a fuse box. The kill switch is integrated on the side of the rover and can easily be pressed to shut off all motor functions while maintaining the integrity of communications. Team Rose actively works with the community through outreach events, including Lacey Beach Day, which honors the late astronaut with a dedicated STEM fair, as well as lab tours with K-12 schools across the islands. The collective efforts of each subsystem and member of Team Rose has led to the current rover being prepared to successfully complete the four missions of the University Rover Challenge. <laughs>